I'm up here in assignment for the Reptile Park here in the Cairns Cane Fields, looking for literally one of the world's most venomous snakes. Over the next 12 months or so, I'm going to be collecting snakes from all over Australia for the Venom Program at the Reptile Park. I'm looking for coastal taipans, they're the fourth most venomous snake in the world. I need that species because we use their venom back at the Reptile Park to produce life-saving anti-venom. Now, I've been told by one of the local cane farmers he's been seeing a taipan here late in the afternoon. So I'm just scouting this edge, looking along. It's perfect conditions right now. It's nice and warm. There's plenty of rodents holes here that the, the snakes, you know, they'll be feeding on these rodents. Lots of cover and there's water right behind me. But I'm also being extremely cautious. This species is literally one of the most toxic snakes on the planet and a bite be bad news. Coastal taipans love these sugarcane fields. They're great places for them to live, hide. There's always heaps of food around, like rodents. And in fact, this cane block here, the local farmer calls it taipan because he sees that many there. Where are you hiding, little fella? When I'm working with taipans, I've got to be super careful. In captivity is one thing. Out here in the wild, complete different level of danger. So I'm always extremely cautious. He's got to be here, he's got to be here somewhere. So I've just got to keep working in and out of the cane here, slowly looking, moving in. They literally could be 10 of them around me. Come on, mate, I know you're here somewhere. Oh, what's that? Whoop, look at that snake. Nothing there. Now the taipans I want to find, they're the ones that are over five foot in length. They're the ones that are going to start producing big venomules, and that's what I need with the venom program. Just easing my way through. So I'm coming along the edge of the cane. Peel a bit back, and just out of the corner of my eye, this bit of glare. Here we go, here we go. And sure enough, right there, baking in the sun, is this beautiful coastal taipan. This is the coastal taipan. So this, this snake here is in the top five most toxic snakes on the planet. This one's only a sub-adult. They get much, much larger than this. All right, but this is a great sign for me. This means that in this area, they're breeding. Back at the Reptile Park, I milk these snakes every two weeks and I need about 24 big adults. Before antivenom was actually around, the coastal taipan, they were called the killer of the cane field because when people got bitten by these snakes, there was a 100% chance that person was gonna die. Super toxic venom, really fast acting. They've got the largest set of fangs of any Australian snake. All right, they can be 10 mil in length and their venom yields are absolutely frightening. An adult taipan can produce more than 450 milligrams of venom in a single bite. So that alone can kill over 100 grown men. You know, we're going back to the late 1950s here. And if you were bitten by one of these snakes, it was a death sentence. Depending on where the bite was, your age, health issues, and that sort of thing, would determine how much longer you actually had to live. I need to be really careful. Billy must now make a decision on whether to take this taipan back to the Australian Reptile Park to include it in its anti-venom program. So what I'll be doing in a few months time is I'll be coming back up here to Cairns. I'll be scouting these cane fields here for big adults, snakes much, much larger than this. Really amazing to think their venom will actually be used to save human lives. So even though this snake's only small, one drop of venom from it can kill over a hundred people. We compare that to something like the Asian Cobra, still highly venomous, but a bite from a species like that might only kill about four or five people. In 1950, there was a young fella and he actually went out to collect the first taipans that were gonna be used for the venom program. The first snake he found, right here where I am in Cairns, he caught it, really big snake, about six foot, Unfortunately, it actually bit him and he died in hospital. Really, really tragic. But that snake, they milked it and they literally produced the first vials of Taipan antivenom for the antivenom program here in Australia. And his legacy still lives on today. Right now, Billy must decide if he's going to add the venom from this smaller Taipan to that legacy. When I come back, I'm going to be looking for the big ones, five to even seven foot long. They're the ones I need to take back to milk for the life-saving antivenom program. 
Right, so I'm going to let this little fella go. He's far too small for me to use in the venom program, and uh, I'm not going to be coming up to collect him for quite a few months anyway. But I need snakes that are much larger than this one. I'm going to let him go. He's starting to carry on a little bit now. He's probably a bit over me. Yes, coastal taipan. What a score! I'm absolutely stoked with that. They're literally one of my favourite Australian snakes, and to come here and get one on this beautiful afternoon, I am absolutely buzzing. See you later, mate. All the best.